What's up creators? This is The News Flash, your one-stop shop for everything you need to know about what's coming up this week on YouTube. Let's get into it. First up, we're going to talk about tips. Now, last week we put on stories a ton of interviews that Matt had done with creators. If you missed that, we've put all of those tips into a neat video, the link for which is in that description beneath this video. Next up, we have a message about staying safe on YouTube. So to help users stay safe on the platform, we're adding a message on iOS when you click an external link that's in a comment on VOD. That's going to ask you if you're sure you want to leave the platform and pursue this link and that you're sure that you trust this link to bring you somewhere safe. There are two things you're going to want to keep in mind when it comes to this leave YouTube message. The first is that it applies only to comments on VODs but we might expand to other services in future. The second is that it doesn't apply when it comes to any links from the channel owner on their own channel or for any links within the YouTube domain. So what this means is if you're clicking on a link that's linking to another YouTube video on the platform, for example, at a specific timestamp, you're not going to be seeing this message. We do hope to expand this to desktop and to Android in the future, but for now, that's your update. Next up, we have some really good news if you're a fan of hashtag landing pages. What's the news? Well, it's launched to 100%. Now, what does that mean? It means that any time you search for a hashtag on YouTube, you're going to be brought to a hashtag landing page specific to that very hashtag. So let us know what you think in the comments below. We'll send any of the feedback we get to the team that manages this awesome process for YouTube. In the last news flash, Dr. Palta asked how to switch his account to a brand account. Well, we contacted James, who's going to help you out, Dr. Palta, and he's going to walk you all through that now. I'm going to give you a quick explainer here about how to move your uh, permissions from being managed by your brand account to being managed by channel permissions and uh, also give you some information about why that may or may not be the right decision for you. So uh, if you go to settings and then to permissions, if you've had a brand account in the past, you're familiar with this top piece that says, hey, manage permissions. And then when you click on it, uh, it takes you to where you can manage permissions with your brand account. But this here at the bottom will be new where it says move permissions to YouTube Studio. And so I'm going to kind of walk you through what that will look like. So this is a test channel. I'm going to go to move permissions and you can see here what will happen is uh, the people that have, you have uh, that have permissions to your brand accounts will be pulled in here and you will have to choose a new access level for them. Uh, the reason for this is that the roles don't precisely line up between the two. We've tailored the new roles uh, more towards YouTube to be more granular. And so you're going to have to make a new choice. The other thing that it is important for you to realize and take a look at is that um, there are some places where the new channel permissions are not yet supported that brand accounts have worked in the past. Uh, all of this is outlined on our uh, help text. Um, sorry. Uh, yeah, all of that is outlined on our help text here where you can see some of the limitations. And so just to give you an example, things like live streaming as the channel, um, this, if you had someone who was accessing your channel through brand permissions, that's managing this for you, this isn't yet supported by the new channel permissions. We do plan to support it in the future, but I don't want you to break your workflow by moving over and finding out, Hey, actually, this isn't going to work for me. Um, so yeah, so, uh, let's say you've decided that this is right for you or you like to try things out. Um, you can choose a, uh, role for this person, or you can choose to remove their access. In this case, I'm going to use the new editor limited role, even though my channel isn't monetized. I'm just so excited about it. Uh, and then you need to understand, you know, this person is going to have access to your channel through channel permissions. They're also going to lose access. Uh, to the brand account. So they will not be able to access your channel through the brand account. They also won't be able to access other Google services that use the brand account, things like Google Photos or Google My Business. Um, if you didn't know they had access to those things today, great. But if you know 
uh, if some of you are using uh, brand account permissions in this way, you want to be aware. Uh, last but not least, you hit invite. They will then be removed from the brand account and get a new permission uh, within a uh, new invitation from YouTube Studio. So you can see uh, this person has been invited here. Um, last but not least, let's say uh, you didn't read the help text closely and you actually got, uh, you know, you found something that's not going to work for you. You need to go back. You can always opt out. Uh, and that will, what that will do is it will remove access, uh, to any users from channel permissions. And then you'll have to go back to the brand account to reinvite people over again. We don't add people back on your behalf. Uh, yeah, so that's it. I'll, I'll show you how this works really quickly here. Uh, super easy. Just opt out, show, show that you understand. And yeah, that's it. Definitely, um, take a look and let us know what you think. All right, we've grown the channel significantly over the past year, and it's been in no small part with your help. I've gotten tips on how to perform better on camera. I've gotten a ton of really constructive feedback about presence and tone and energy, and I just want to say thank you. But also keep that feedback coming, whether it's in the send feedback link or through comments, we read through absolutely everything. And I know I've become a little bit better at least, as a result of all of your feedback. So that's it from me this week. You'll see me again next week with all of the official updates from YouTube right here on this channel where you can ask questions about anything you want. So from the creators of YouTube to YouTube creators, I'm Connor signing off. See you next week.